Shamai Chryson Noel. Um, dyma Cymraeg Ail Iaith Session 1 sy'n canolbwyntio ar datblygu atebion llafar. So here is the Welsh Second Language first session, first recording, um, and we're going to look at developing our oracy answers. And that will include adding detail to our answers and also looking at natural language that we can use when conversing with um, other people. Okay, felly bant yn ni. So, am canion y session ydy that aims are to practice using a variety of questioning techniques, which you obviously need in your oracy work, um, to revise natural language, so to look at little phrases we can use um, to converse uh, more naturally with our partner or with our group, and looking how to change the course of a conversation to add more details. So if you are stuck on what to say next, how to basically put your own point of view in by using um, a connective such as but. So um, I don't agree with you, but I think this. Okay, um, felly dyma'r amcanion y sesiwn heddi. Um, I ddechrau te, faint o'r canlynol ydych chi'n gwybod yn barod. How many of the following do you already know? So I'm going to read them out so you can hear them. Okay, and then what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to note down what they are in Gymraeg ac wedyn yn Saesneg hefyd, in English hefyd. Okay, so I'll go down the rows then. So we start with ble, beth ydy ble yn Saesneg? Beth, meddwl, mynd, rhyd, oiti. Oiti, remember, is the same as ydych chi, just one singular, one's plural, okay? One's formal, one's informal. Then we've got sit, ystyried, ble, astudio, faint, pam, hoffeti, nofio a chwarae. Okay, so as you can see, some of them are question words, the ones with the question marks, and others are bervae verbs. So I just want you to quickly note down how many of those you know, yn Gymraeg ac yn Saesneg, and uh, you can also think about how confident you are with them. So think about a time that you've heard ble, for example, ble o'i ti'n byw. Think about a time that you may have heard o'i ti'n, o'i ti'n hoffi, o'i ti'n um, cytuno, yr enghraifft. Think about a time that you may have heard, heard meddwl, dwi'n meddwl bod, and think about the meaning that way. So if you're struggling to consider the meaning in English, then think about where you've already heard this being used, okay? So do we have a dechrau nawr? Um, and then we'll go through the atebion, the answers, yeah? Okay, in a minute. Don't forget, you can do it by process of elimination. Do the ones you can do first. Leave the more difficult and more challenging ones till, till the end, okay? Okay, iawn te. I wneud trwy ratebion, okay? So ble is where. So ble oitin blue, ble oitin bu, ble ma shop, okay? Ble is where. Nesaf, beth, what? Beth oitin hoffi, beth oitin meddwl, okay? Meddwl, I wonder if you got that one. Meddwl is to think, so it's a verb, to think, okay? Mind, to go or going. Okay, do we mind? I go to or I'm going to. Read when. Read my de Bemblo for example, maybe a question you're familiar with. 
oiti. Now, oiti can mean do you or are you. And you'll see that a lot on written papers as well. Adichin or oitin katino. But it's also relevant for your um, arholiadau llafar. Sit. How? You may know the obvious one, sit oiti. Okay, how are you? Astyried is to consider. Okay, so doin astyried barn whoever I consider this person's opinion. Okay, ble we've said is where. Astadio to study the verb to study. Doin astadio I study. My a friend and astadio my friend studies. Hoffuni astadio I would like to study can be used in several different ways. Vint um, how many? Okay, Pam. We um we should have seen this one before. Pam is why. Okay, Hoffeti. Now you may be familiar with Hoffuni, which is I would like to. So if you flip that into question form, Hoffeti, would you like to? Okay, Novio, Adi swim, and Huarai is play. Okay, so I want you to practice saying those words after me. So I'm going to say them now, and then you can repeat them. Then. You will have them down in Cymraeg ac and Saesneg and you'll have practice saying them, okay? So repeat these after me so we practice them. So we've got ble, beth, meddwl, mind, pryd, oiti, sit, astyried, astadio, vaint, pam, hoffeti, Novio Achwarai. Okay, Diane. So here are some examples of how you can use those questions and the verbs together. Okay, so let's have a look at the first one. Ble oitin chwarai. Where do you play? So we've put different components together. Okay, we need the question word ble where. Oitin we said was do you or are you? So where do you chwarai play? You can obviously replace that for several other verbs, okay? Ble oiti novio, for example. Where do you swim? Ble oiti a studio. Where do you study? Okay, there's so many options available there. Rhyf dai wedyn. Beth oiti meddwl. What do you think? Okay? Rhyf tri. Pam hoffet i a studio. Mathematic. Why? Would you like to study maths? So you could obviously change mathematics there for any subject. Pam Hoffetia studio drama. Pam Hoffetia studio seisneg. Pam Hoffetia studio and a colleague. Why would you like to study in college? Ruth Pedwar. Sit oitin mind ir school. How do you? go to school. So the reason I've done the different um, the different blocks here is to show you that you can um, mix mix up the different question words, you can mix up the verbs and you can still create the same level of sentences. Rinesa, oitin astyried barn Jack. Are you considering Jack's barn opinion? And the last one, beth amdana T. What about you? OK, so those are some examples. So what you could do now is you could pause this video, go back to the previous uh, slide and try and make some of your own. OK, and then you can compare them to these questions and see what yours are like. OK, so yaith naturio then, natural language. Now, this is going to be um, very useful for you. OK, mae'n bwysig iawn i ddefnyddio iaith naturiol wrth drafod yn yr arholiadau llafar. So when you're working in your oral exams with your partner or with your group of three, um, or even when you're practicing with your teachers or friends in class, you need to practice using yaith naturiol, natural language. Now, this is going to help a conversation flow. OK, there a lot of them are short phrases or short words that are going to help you um, fill in the gaps of a conversation and also make yourself more natural and allow yourself to use more expression. So we're going to say them first and Gamraig. So I want you to practice repeating them after me. Then we'll go through them so you understand what they mean. And then I'll show you how you could use these uh, spontaneously in a conversation. OK, so we're going to go down the left column first and then the right. So we've got weir, wrth gwrs, and bendant, bob tro, tin iawn, o na. Tin jokan, dim ogobul, bith, 
Adim Shams. Okay, I'll repeat them one more time. So we've got Weir, Orgurs, Unbendant, Bob Tro, Tinyang, Ona, Tin Jokan, Dim Mogobol, Bith, Adim Shams. Okay, that's the unsized snegta in English. Weir is really. So uh, if somebody in a group says something and you don't agree, you could say weir, really? Do you think that? Okay, orthgurs is quite self-explanatory. Orthgurs is of course. So oitin katino, do you agree? Orthgurs. Oitin hoffi drama? Orthgurs. Oitin mendir parkeno? Orthgurs. It works for several different themes and topics, okay? Unbendant, definitely. Okay, so the same thing again. Questions you could reply to with unbendant, definitely. Bob tro, every time. So, do you like football? Oitin hoffi pale droid. Bob tro, every time. I always like it. Okay. And then the last one on the list, on the left hand side, we've got teen yaun. You're right. You're correct. So, if somebody says something and you agree with that opinion, instead of saying the word katino, which means agree, you can vary it up a little bit by using this phrase. Teen yawn, okay? So I'm just going to remind you um, of those quickly. So we've got weir, really, of course, of course, unbendant, definitely, bob tro, uh, every time, a uh, teen yawn, you're right. On the negatives then, ara llaw arall, we've got oh na, oh no, teen jokan, you're joking. Dim or gubbul, not at all. So if someone asks you, do you like a uh, pale droid, or eating half a pale droid? Dim or gubbul, not at all. And then you can go on to give your opinion on pale droid. Bith means never, okay? And the last one, dim chance, no chance. So we've got o na, oh no. Tin jokan, you're joking. Dim or gubbul, not at all. Bith, never. Dim shouts, no chance. Okay, so how could we use these in context then? So um, here are some statements that may have been said by your partner, may have been said by your group, may have been said by somebody else in your class. How could you use the natural language to respond to these statements? So, Reeve in number one says, Dwin moin hai, mindir park ar penoithnos gada So I enjoy go into the park on the weekend with friends. Now, you can go back to that slide book, and if you agree, you need to be looking at the left-hand side. If you disagree, then I'd be looking at the right-hand the right hand side. So this person enjoys going to the park on the weekend with friends. Now, you could say something like, of course, of course, I also like this. And Ben Dant, definitely, going to the park is a good idea. If you don't like going to the park, you could respond to that person by saying, Teen jokan, you're joking. I prefer doing this, or I like doing this instead. Okay, so that's a good way to respond to that one. Reeve die. My bioleg and weight na physic bob deeth. So, what that statement means is biology and weight na is better than physic, physics, bob deeth every day. Now, once again, if you agree with that statement, you could say, oh, teen yam, you're right. Or you could say, dim shams, no chance I agree with that statement, and tell me why physics is better than biology. Okay? Reeve tree. My board and yach and boy sig yam, achos mein han vodol edrich ar ola korf. So it's quite a difficult one, quite a challenging sentence here. My board and yach and boy sig yam. Being healthy is very important. Achos mein han vodol edrich ar ola korf. It's essential, it's important, boisig, it's just a different way to say boisig, to look after the corf, the body. Now, what you want to try and do is, yes, you want to use this natural language, but then you also want to try and develop your ideas, okay? So that one, it's important to look after the body. You could start your response with, and ben dant, definitely. And then you could carry on by saying, doin meddle board, I think that, and then give your opinion why. Okay, or you could say unbendant achos, definitely because, but you don't want to just stop with the natural language, you want it to be a part of your conversation. Okay, Reeve Pedwar, Hoffuni a studio and a colleague, 
dim yn y chweched, achos mae mwy o amser rydd gyda ni. Once again, quite a challenge in a statement here, but break it down, okay? Hoffwn ni ystydio. I would like to study yn y coleg in college, dim yn y chweched, not in sixth form, achos mae mwy o amser rydd gyda ni. We have more amser rydd free time. Okay, so once again, you could say yes or no using the natural language and then give your opinion on if you agree with that or not. And um, the last one, yn fy mar ni, mae cyfryngau cymdeithasol yn gallu bod yn beryglus, ond fy hoff ap ydy TikTok he boss. So in my opinion, social media can be, gallu bod, can be uh, boring, dangerous, things like that. Okay, you could use different adjectives there. Ond, but the hoof app my favorite app is tiktok without a doubt so once again if your favorite um app is tiktok you could say oh and ben dan definitely doing katino i agree with you because i like tiktok okay so break down your answers but try and get that extra detail in what i'd like you to do now then for the next couple of minutes is i want you to look at the five statements i've just been through and i want you to write your own personal response Okay, so start your response off with the natural language, the yaith material, and then try and develop your answer by giving an opinion, by giving a reason. So opinions are, dwi'n hoffi, dwi'n mwynhau, dwi'n meddwl bod, yn fy mar ni. Reasons, we very often use achos mind to give reasons, okay, but we can develop, develop those further as well. So I'm going to give you dwi funud two minutes to try and do as many of these as you can in that time. Okay, so it doesn't matter if you only get through two or three, try and develop your answers as much as you can. Okay, bant achi, off you go. So try and use that natural language and try and develop your um, ideas too. Okay, off you go. Don't forget as well that natural language, so those little words that we just looked at are a really good way um, to give yourself a little bit more time. So if you're not sure exactly what to say or exactly how to respond to somebody, then you can say teen yawn and then pause and then think of your idea and then start your next sentence. Or you could always follow on um, by any of these. You could always say but. So yeah, you're right, but I think this, okay? So um, it's just a good little way to make sure that um, we are getting rid of any pauses in our work and we're giving ourselves that, that extra thinking time in order to respond to our group or our partner. Okay, so you've got just under a minute left to go through these. Make sure that we're looking at the accuracy of our answers as well. If you're using Orthgurs, it's got to be spelled properly. Um, if we're using dim or gubbul, look at the spelling of that one as well. Okay. Now, you can use these. I know we're focusing on um, the speaking exams, but you can also use these natural language answers and responses in your written papers as well. Okay, so you can use things like unbendant in a five mark question, for example, which you may have already been over in school. Um, or you will be in the, at some point in the future. So just bear those in mind. Okay, 30 seconds then before um, we move on to look at how you can change the conversation to take it where you want it. Okay, uh, stop your chvanata. So, um, however many you've got through, die down, okay? Um, and don't forget, you can pause this video and carry on writing if you didn't quite have enough time to finish. You can also go back and have a look at the other slides before you finish the rest of your responses. Okay, next up, we're going to look at these phrases how to change a conversation. So, it will sometimes occur when you're doing speaking work, it will sometimes occur that maybe somebody in your group or your partner has said something and you don't necessarily have 
um, always have a response. So what you need to do there is change the conversation to where you want it to go. So if, for example, in your group, the three of you are talking about the cinema and you feel like you've said everything you can about the cinema, you've spoken about your Hof film, your favourite film, your cast film, least favourite film, and you feel like the conversation needs to move on because you're aware of the time, then you can use phrases like this to move the conversation on and once again to stop those pauses in the conversation. Okay, so I'm going to practice saying them and then I'll tell you what they mean. Um, I would be writing these down now because then you can use them later on. Okay, so the first one, I want you to practice this after me, is ond hivid. Then we've got ond betham, ond waitin, right in vedol am, something hivid, mein buisig asteriad, mein buisig medol am, and ar u llaw arall. So I'm going to say those again a little bit quicker so you can hear them at natural speed and then we'll go through what they mean and size now, okay? So after me then, please. Ond hefyd, ond beth am, ond wedyn, rhaid i ni feddwl am, hefyd, mae'n bwysig asteriad, mae'n bwysig meddwl am, ar y llaw arall. Okay, firstly, unsaisneg, ond we know is but. So ond hefyd, but also. Okay, so for example, like I just said, I used the example of the cinema. You're talking about the cinema, but you also want to talk about other hobbies. You could say ond hefyd, but also, I like this hobby. But also, what about this hobby? Okay, number two, rhif dai, ond beth am, but what about? So what about this? What about this? Um, for example, if you're doing the speaking exam on the video unit one or the poster unit two um, and you feel like you need to move on to the next point. Oh, what about this point? What about this person's opinion? What about this picture? OK, so that's a good one. Beth am, what about? The third one on the list, Rive Tree says, and we din, but then. So but then we need to think about this. But then what about this? So you can actually mix and match some of these together if you really want to um, stretch yourself and challenge yourself. Okay. Rina Sariv Pedwar, ride ini vedul am something hevid. It's a good one for you. We must think about this as well. So if we're talking about the cinema, we could also say maybe there's shops in our area. We may say, ride ini vedul am shoppa hevid. We must think about shopping as well. And then that gives you scope to move the conversation on and discuss your favorite shops. You could then discuss where you went shopping last weekend, where you would like to go shopping, all of these things which will gain you extra marks, okay? Rinesa, mein buisig astiried. It's important to consider. So it's important to consider this as well. It's important to now move on to this. Mein buisig medul am. Same phrase at the start there. It's important to think about, okay? So it's important that we think about hobby I eraill, other hobbies. And the last one, ar y llaw arall, yr un olaf, on the other hand. Ar y llaw arall, on the other hand, which is a good one to give a different viewpoint. One extra one, which isn't actually on the slide in front of you, but an extra one which you can also use is simply the word nesaf, meaning next. So next, I want to talk about this. And that just shows um, um, whoever is listening to your conversation that you are aware that you're moving the conversation on. OK, so it's a good way to keep the conversation going. So think now we can use the natural language in between the conversation that we're having. And then we can use these phrases if we want to change the direction of the conversation. OK, so we had on David, but also on Betham, but what about on Wedin, but then. Riding away the lamb, we must think about this also. My buisig asteriad is important to consider. My buisig me the lamb is important to think about. And arathawara on the other hand. Okay, so what I want you to do now is I want you to practice using those phrases to respond to these statements. So we've got riv in. My franek and buisig yam. French is very important. So you could respond to that by saying, but also, this subject is important, but also we must think about this subject. Okay. Um, Reef die, number two. My Hanner Tamor, 
yn amser i ymlacio. Dim gwneud gwaith cartref. So half term is a time to relax, not do homework. So you could say, in response to that, it's important to consider um, that we do our hobbies during half term. Okay? Rhyf tri. Mae sponken yn ddiflas. Squash is boring. And you could also respond to that by saying, on the other hand, I prefer this, this sport. I prefer doing this on my weekend. The word for, uh, the phrase for I prefer is mine with gadavi. So that's a good one if you don't know it as well. Yn yr ysgol, mae gwersi ffitroedd yn anhygoel. So in school, fitness lessons are amazing. Okay, so you could respond to that by saying, but then we must also think about these subjects. Rina sa, the hoff hobby a di chware rugby yn y park gyda mam am brawd. So my favourite hobby is playing rugby in the park with my mum and brother. You could say, on the other hand, I also enjoy this. Or on the other hand, I prefer this, this on the weekend when it's raining. Okay, for example. My problem, Gadaspuriel and the Ardal, there is a problem with rubbish in my area. Okay, uh, and you could say there, um, we must think about recycling also, or we must think about keeping our area clean, for example. My Australia and Lle Arderchogi Vindar Australia is an excellent place to go on holiday. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to give you three minutes of trauma, three minutes. I amateb i'r um, amadroddion, i'r brodegau hyn, okay? So I want you three minutes now to respond to these statements. So write the statement out, um, or if you're doing it online, then you can um, add to the statement. So my franig and boys again, and try and use this previous slide to add information. This will help you add detail. It'll help you give um, the other side of the argument, and it'll also make sure that you're considering more than one viewpoint. OK, so three minutes and dechre now. Bantachi, off you go. Don't forget as well, you can go back through the slides, you can pause the video, you can rewind it. You can use other words as well from the session and from previous sessions to help you form your answers here. Two minutes, two more minutes. What's good about this, where you're changing the conversation, you're changing the direction of the conversation is, if the topic is one that you find particularly challenging, it allows you to talk about things that you are more confident with. So if you're talking about there's a problem with rubbish in my area, you may be slightly more confident talking about facilities that you like in your area. So you could say something like, there's a problem with rubbish in my area. I agree with that. However, on the other hand, I actually like this in my area. OK, so you need to use these when it's relevant. It isn't you're not going to use these to go completely off topic, but within um, the theme or within the skill you're using, you can use the phrases on the previous slide to help you um, to help you, you um, discuss what you feel most confident with. OK, in minute arata, one more minute.
Okay. Uh, stop you vanna. And obviously, if you want to come back to this at any time, then you and then you can. Okay. So to finish off the session today, we're going to do a task match. Okay. So ar chwith mae gadanir a brodiga camraig a wedyn mae gadanir brodiga saisneg. So you've got Welsh sentences and English sentences. And what I'd like you to do is try and match them. Okay. Now a lot of these are keywords and key phrases and key questions that we've come across in the session today. So it's just about putting it into a real life context. How can you use these when discussing different topics? How can you use these when doing different exams, when discussing different skills? Okay, so I'm going to read the Cambraig. I want you to try and match them up. I'm going to give you a couple of minutes. I'm going to read the words so you can hear it being um, read aloud and then um, we'll go through the answers. Okay, so read in. Oitina Syriad Levele A. Riding a vehicle am var James Havid. On Havid, my new Charlotte can break am Patagonia. On ar y llaw arall, my mathematics am Boisig. My Boisig medal am can break. Beth am a questine with. Of course, on beth am a push novia. Okay, so read in. Oitin Syriad Levele A. Oitin, do you consider or have you, are you considering A levels? Okay, read die. Ride in Evadel, we must think about. Barn is the Welsh word for opinion. So we must think about Barn James, James's opinion too, as well. Okay, and Hivit, my new Charlotte can brag in Patagonia. But also, they speak Welsh in Patagonia. So if you were discussing Dysgu Cymraeg, learning Welsh, or Siarad Cymraeg, you could mention that. Ond ar y llaw arall, mae mathemateg yn bwysig. But on the other hand, maths is important. Mae'n bwysig meddwl am Cymraeg, it's important to think about Welsh. Okay, now you could change the word Welsh there for anything. You'd need the same rest of the sentence, you'd just change that one word. Mae'n bwysig meddwl am ysgol, it's important to think about school. Mine boy sig me the lam a devo doll. It's important to think about the future. Mine boy sig me the lam a rum galchet. It's important to think about the environment. Loads of words there that fit. Beth am a guesti ne with. Beth am what about the new hotel? But you could once again change that to several different words. And the last one, earth gurs, and beth am a pool novio. So earth gurs, of course but what about the swimming pool? So I hope that final task has shown you that you can use the phrases that we've gone through today and you can just fit in the relevant vocabulary where it is suitable, okay? So you can use these now, practice them, practice them with different vocabulary, um, different words in the gaps. Get more confident with using them, okay? So, diolch yn fawr iawn am eich amser heddi. Thank you very much for your time today. Don't forget, you can play, pause, and re-watch this video as many times as you want, okay? And it, um, I hope it's been useful for you. Um, diolch yn fawr, hwyl fawr.